On Sunday, uh, a Russian national named Maria Butini was arrested and she was charged with espionage. Uh, so Butina came to the United States on a student visa known as an F-1 in 2016. Uh, so prosecutors say that she sought to penetrate the Republican Party uh, through a conservative position, gun rights. And uh, she infiltrated the NRA and no one had any reason to suspect that uh you know she came with i guess uh baggage. different yeah well baggage <laughs> uh some different motives <laughs> and um uh. so uh her ultimate goal was to gather intelligence for russia and also to influence us leaders to take a more sympathetic position on russian interests uh so prosecutors also said that she offered sex to someone in exchange for a position in an unnamed special interest group uh <laughs> We don't know what that hmm. special interest group is, but I did say that she infiltrated the, the NRA. NRA. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's unnamed. Okay, I can only speculate. Uh, so she is being held without bond because she was deemed to be a flight risk. Uh, <laughs> I think a flight risk and something else. Like if <laughs> if she was able to leave, uh, we would never see her again. Yeah, no. Nah, Not I just because, so. you know, she doesn't want to, like, face the charges, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just to specify, though, this has nothing to do with the 12 Russian um, nationals that were charged, uh, were, that were indicted, by uh, you know, Mueller. just a few days ago by, by Mueller. the Mueller investigation. This is... That has nothing to do with no, that. Wait, 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 wait. So, what agency is all this coming from? Well, what? I mean, th this is this is coming through the, the, the DOJ. The D <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm, I can't get through this while I'm laughing. Yeah, this is coming through the DOJ, man. But anyway, let, let, yeah, let, yeah, let's yeah, get yeah, let's yeah, get yeah, some yeah. more about Butina. This is the prosecutor's position, okay? So it seems that Butina and obviously the Russian government, it seems like they deduced that the best way to infiltrate the American government. And to infiltrate the Republican Party, because, of course, the Republican Party is in control right now. The best way to do that is through the America's love of guns, the Second the Second Amendment rights. Yeah, because they lose their minds. Lose their minds. They lose their minds, so it opens them up mm -hmm. to kind of be bamboozled. And see, that's not a far-fetched idea, because, as you recall, there was just a few days ago that we talked about that um, that show, Who is America?, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen's show in which it was a prank, no doubt, but these uh, conservative individuals had no idea it was not a prank. And they actually were on camera. They actually allowed themselves to be on camera and promote the idea of preschoolers having access to firearms, not just in general, but actually inside schools. They actually were on camera promoting that idea. So this is not a far-fetched idea. We know that they can conservatives, be irrational. Yeah, can we be irrational. on gun rights, of course they're irrational. So it, I don't think it would have been hard to deduce that, yeah, that's the way we get them, right? Uh, but there is one Republican congressman that's calling bullshit on this, and that is uh, Republican Representative Dana Rohrabacher. <laughs> What? And uh, he's from California. But, but, but wait a second. Like, why like open your mouth and sound off about just a random indictment or a random ar arrest? Like, <laughs> you see well, what I'm saying? Like, why? Why give such a staunch opinion mm -hmm. about some random arrest that occurred? Well, he's connected to this in some way. Oh, he, he's connected oh, to this in some way. But again, oh, he, he's calling bullshit. He said oh, that the charges against Butina, he is sure they are bogus. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> he's, that's his quote. He, he actually said bogus. All right. So um, in the indictment of Butina, uh, it describes conversations that she had with a Russian official who is believed to be a guy by the name of Alexander Torshin. Uh, and his plans to, quote, meet with a U.S. congressman during a congressional delegation trip to Moscow in August 2015. So Representative Rohrabacher, he admitted that he was part of the delegation, but there was actually another lawmaker there. And there was um, another. Well, there was a larger group of Americans there as well. Uh, so this is what the congressman had to say. Uh, he said. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. She's the assistant of some guy who is the head of the bank and is a member of their parliament. That's what we call a spy. That shows you how bogus this whole thing is. See, that is why he was targeted, because he's dumb. <laughs> 
Like, you know, and I, you know what? I actually believe that is a genuine sentiment. <laughs> I, I don't actually believe he's being obtuse. I think he's being, like, completely serious. You and know, it, spies, like, they have cover, right? They have cover. And actually, that's the perfect cover. It a is. bank? <laughs> That's the perfect cover. <laughs> so that's like, that's like, you mean to tell me the spy was like the cable guy? Come, nah, man. He could. That's such a lowly position. I wouldn't suspect that it's the cable guy. You mean the spy was the electrician, the person who installs all the, uh, the electricity? You mean the spy was the person who installed <laughs> my cameras, my security cameras? Nah, uh. Can't be. That's how he sounds. Like you said, this dude is stupid. And I think, <laughs> and that's what makes them a target because, again, if you're, so, you can, you can solicit very, very, I would say, intellectually vulnerable people very mm-hmm. easily. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he also added that there are people in what we call deep state, meaning these guys have warmed their way into power in the Obama years and before and have they and have their own political agenda. And they're utilizing every bit of leverage that they've got to accomplish to accomplish their mission. Now, here is where we go back to, uh, oh, yeah. you know, somewhat towards the beginning of this story. Um, again, prosecutors have charged uh, this individual, Maria Butina, with espionage, right? Now, Mike, you asked the question, who is this investigation? Not, yeah, and who like, are these and, charges and, and, you know, being funneled through? Right? Exactly, like, like, who announced that these charges would take place and would be, they would pre- be proceeding with charges that's a big question who so it it was the department of justice who Mm -hmm. of Mm -hmm. course is headed by the attorney general jeff sessions Bo (laughs) Bo guard guard exactly and there's actually another individual um the um u.s attorney for the district of columbia her name is jesse lou um now it's an interesting thing about jesse lou okay so um Lou worked for the Trump transition team right. upon getting elected in 2016. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Lou was then nominated by President Donald Trump to become the U.S. attorney for the District, District of Columbia in June 2017, and she was confirmed in September of 2017. So, going back to what the congressman Robert Barker said it was about the deep state the Obama, deep state, Obama yeah, yeah. because it, it was it was people that had wormed their way into government under the Obama years and even before right uh, this particular individual Jesse Liu she wasn't in the government or she she wasn't in the Obama administration she's the, she's the lead during the Obama administration so she's the lead attorney she's the lead attorney and guess what Trump nominated her this was actually a joint announcement it was this was a joint announcement which included uh nancy mcnamara um she was the assist she's assistant director in charge of the fbi uh washington field office and she was named to that position by fbi director christopher ray i think earlier this year could have been last. i can't remember hold on, hold on. so uh, fbi director christopher ray yes sir yes sir yes sir appointed by appointed by President Trump. President Trump. So that's again, right. that's the second yeah. person. There was it was a it was like a, a three person announcement, and that mm-hmm. was the second person, mm-hmm. uh, someone who was appointed by Christopher Ray, who was appointed by Donald Trump. Um, uh, the third person uh, is uh, John Demers. He's Attorney General for National Security, uh, and he was appointed by. Give you one guess. Donald Trump. Oh, man. I was thinking. I was thinking. I was thinking. This is why my man Mike here just called Roar Barker stupid and the perfect person to target and go after and, and try to, I guess, worm your way through the United States government. Act as a conduit to, you know, influence members of government and, I guess, get what Russia wants done, done. <laughs> He's the perfect guy because he's over here talking about a deep state plan. You're telling me people that were nominated by Trump or put in place by Trump nominees are actually in the deep state working against Donald Trump. That wouldn't make any sense. Well, it would only make sense if just Trump just magically 
and mistakenly <laughs> brought on and appointed three people that he thought were not deep state. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the only way that that could be actually true. Yeah. Is that if they were, it was all a mistake and it would only make sense if they were fed to Donald Trump to nominate. <laughs> they weren't his people. They were really Obama's people. But that's not even true because if you look at the history of all these people, what are they? A Republican. Long time Republican. Long time. So it doesn't even make sense. They don't have any, they don't really have any uh, direct ties to, uh, uh, to Obama. Oh, but no, uh, no, 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 no. They're, they're sleeper cells, man. The sleeper cells. Obama awoken them, you know. Oh, you mean like, oh, like uh, uh, John, oh, John Demers. He's, he's such a sleeper Democrat or a sleeper liberal. Uh, he uh, served as a clerk for uh, uh, Antonin Scalia. <laughs> he's such a damn liberal you know He that's that was his cover I'm yeah. gonna serve as a clerk for Antonin Scalia to create my cover mm-hmm. even though I'm, a, I'm really a Democrat I'm a liberal Democrat and then the lead prosecutor Jesse Liu she actually did she, she actually was in the Department of Justice previously but it wasn't under the Obama administration it was under the George W. Bush administration I think it was from 2006 to 2009 yes yes exactly so most of their work surrounds who Republicans yeah so, so again this deep state bullshit, bullshit constantly keeps crumbling and it's funny how like it seems like that's what guilty people go to mm-hmm.